What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Trading Academy and today I'll be addressing a problem that most of you experienced when I did mastering masters here in Editor X, my video from last week. So I'm going to discuss that today. Before I do, I just want to say if you're just joining us for the first time, thank you so much. Make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on because you're not going to want to miss any content here on the channel and you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. Pretty great place to be when starting in a brand new editor. One last little side note. If you are a freelance web design or developer, I just launched a brand new Facebook group that I want you to join, clicking the link in the description below. Why? Because I know that this entire community is not just built up of web design and developers. So I didn't want to start creating content specifically to that because I knew it wouldn't apply to everybody in this community. You're here to learn Wix stuff. But if you are a freelance web design or developer out there and you would like to learn the tips, tactics, strategies that I used and that all of the other community that we're building there have used to go from zero to $210,000 in my first year, you're going to want to be over there, and this is a group exclusively for that, to go from freelancer to agency owner or even just larger freelancer. So head over to that link in the description below. All right, let's jump into today's video. Okay, so we're here in Editor X. The common concern from last week's video was regarding masters, but in particular, it was the header and footer in masters that really threw people off. The biggest concern was the inability to delete the header and footer master, and the second one was choosing where to display it. Like if you didn't want to show your header or footer on a certain page, how do you change that? So instead of going into layers, which would be the next video in our module, I want to cover this video first because it was a pretty common concern. So we're here in our masters, right? You've got your master header and footer. Now, I'm just going to tell you this one right off the bat. You cannot currently delete your master header or master footer here in Editor X. I don't really know the reasoning to that yet. And again, a reminder that Editor X is in beta. So this is something that could certainly change. So Wix, if you're watching this, just a lot of feedback from a lot of people. But you cannot currently delete your header, master header, master footer in Editor X. However, you can choose the pages it is displayed on. So I went ahead and I created a page called New Page, right? Real, real original, right, Michael? Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to pages and just show you the process. So manage pages. We don't want that. We want manage pages. And I'm just going to add a new page and we'll just say NP2. Okay, right. So now we've got NP2, new page two. Now we're on NP2. As you can see here, our header is displayed. Our footer is displayed. That is default whenever you add a new page. We already covered the topic of you cannot delete your uh, master header and footer. However, you can choose where they're displayed. So if we go to our masters and we go to master header, what we can actually do is we can click this three little dots here and we can click show on. And now we can go ahead and uncheck NP2. And what's going to happen is our header now disappears from this NP2 page because we removed it from this particular page. Here is another thing. If you decided that you would like to change the way your header looks on certain pages, here's another method you could use, similar to what I showed you in the last video. You can go here, you can press duplicate, and you can actually go ahead and duplicate your header, and you can go ahead and change it. So maybe we do want to show this one. We click show on page and maybe we'll come in here and maybe we just want to, I don't know, let, let me click on something here, change the, the coloring. We can change the coloring. Let's just say that's what we want to do. Um, come in here, change design, and maybe we want it to be 
this color right here. And now we've got that header. Now here's how that works. We duplicated our master header and made an additional header. Now you can actually, um, you know, change this around as needed. You can duplicate it as many times as you'd like, but that's how you can do it. And then if you decided, you know what, I don't want to show this header on this page, we'll unclick it here and you go back and you're like, you know what, I actually just really want to show the original header on this page. You would click like that and bam, it would be back to the original. Whoops, we didn't give time to check. And it's back to the original, just like that. So I hope this addressed those concerns you were experiencing regarding master header and footers. If it did, make sure to drop a like down below, comment, and let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. Don't forget to join that Facebook group. Link in the description below if you are a freelance web design or developer. And that's it. Freelance web designer developer wanting to learn how to grow your business. That's where you go. And lastly, hit that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on because we've got a whole lot more content coming. And I think you'll want to be part of this incredible Wix Training Academy community, the largest Wix training community on the internet. I'm proud to be here. I know everyone else here is proud to be here and we would love to have you in it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you on the next one.